So uh, Dr. Vanner and I were sitting in my office a number of years ago envisioning how we'd promote research at Queen's University in general and the Department of Medicine in particular, and we decided that we should build on our strength great clinical medicine and great basic science and meld them together to make translational medicine that goes from bench to bedside. So over a period of years with many people helping us, we uh, found funding to create time uh, it included a graduate program, translational medicine. It included a time network which connects people and resources to one another to facilitate research. And finally, it builds on our big infrastructure platforms like the Queen's Cardiopulmonary Unit and GIDRU to give resources to our scientists to do state-of-the-art translational medical science. So translational research is research that addresses a clinical problem either in terms of a need to better understand the disease process or a need to diagnose it better or a need to, to treat it better. And it can be at the basic level, uh, it can be at the clinical level, uh, and it can be beyond that extending into the community. I'm delighted to have been part of the inaugural Time Symposium today featuring presentations from our second year graduate students. I thought they all did a fantastic job of communicating their preliminary research results and really represented the program very well. I really enjoyed today because it really brought home the importance of multidisciplinary work between scientists and clinicians. Today I really felt supported by my basic scientist colleagues teaching me how to use advanced technologies so I can advance patient care as well as further patient research. I love my time in time. The program is wonderful and all of the collaborations make it an extraordinary experience for everyone involved. I think this institute is quite unique. It brings together a very novel group of, of people working in different disciplines. And I think what it allows us to do, and I think what the purpose of time is, is to give us the opportunity to go from basic science to the bedside, and then really bring that bedside back into basic science and complete the loop. So translational medicine here at Queen's University has really evolved over the past, I would say, five to 10 years. And as someone who's trained as an epidemiologist, it's allowed me unique opportunities that I may not have otherwise um, sought out to try and integrate uh, my own skills with skills of the scientists who work around me. Time really has increased our ability to collaborate across disciplines, uh, whereas in times past we really would have stayed within our own silo. We're starting to move outside our own areas to um, really do a better job of translating um, our findings right from the bench all the way to the bedside and back. The time that is the Translation Institute of Medicine is one of the best things ever happened to Queen's University to basically link the basic scientists to the medical professions so that we can actually make use of the best opportunity between the two sides and their collaboration to actually promote the health and the uh, advancement of the uh, treatment for patients and the healthcare profession. I think that's a wonderful opportunity for us to be around.